welcome to the No Face Show. All right, dude, so let's 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 move on. So mastering, what's on your mastering chain? Just share us huh. your sauce. Share us what makes your your mix it sound so big. Or um, some I've heard a lot of producers say that their ma their mastering secret is basically none. It's a good mix because a lot of times a good master is a, just a good mix and with a f little bit of limiting. What do you well, take mastering very seriously, or do you just try and fix everything with your mix? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna let me share the screen again. I'll show you guys. I'm I'm gonna literally open up the most random project and and you will see my mastering chain. In the meantime, as this is opening, I'm gonna show you guys basically that my mastering chain is actually very very simple, and I do majority of my uh, I do majority of my mix downs uh, like in inside like uh, um, like within the project essentially. So to go to go into my master chain uh i have the i have the fab filter compressor uh sometimes i use it most of the time i don't so let me just take this out just to make it easier i'm gonna show you guys what i have okay so so here's what i have uh this technically goes over here so i have um the i have the utility always on on Ableton, if for those of you guys who are not using Ableton, this is literally just a volume automation. So negative five, just to give it headroom as it go, it's going through my chain. So the first thing I have uh, on this particular track, uh, I have a boost here uh, of some high end. Mm, most of the time I would actually do this also. I would uh, high cut at... 96 degrees and just maybe at around i don't know maybe 17 and a half maybe 18,000. sometimes i don't i'm pretty careful with this like a lot of guys like you hear a lot of dudes saying it's like oh bro you gotta like you gotta cut this out and it's like you gotta cut this out only if you're not taking care of this within the mix like because if you go into my internal things like i almost always have let me see like normally let me see. yeah like for example this piano you see it needed a bit of like high high cutting i took care of that there is your favorite cla guitar I oh yeah use. boy <laughs> yeah but okay so uh i got the eq is the first thing that i do then i have two limiters always two limiters uh uh L2 is one of my favorite classic waves yeah, limiters. I've seen other people that. use that limiter. Yeah, the brick is my fab filter, and uh, this is the one. In this case, I I'm limiting here, but normally I would not be doing that. I would not be limiting at all. I I would actually be controlling my volume output right here. So. I don't know if I can play. I definitely can't play this, but let me play it so you can see the signal flow. You see, it's it's not hitting negative six, which means that I can technically push it just a bit. But instead of push, I can push it either on the limiter. The what I'm saying is that the the last limiter, I don't I don't do the threshold at all. This needs to just be a brick that stops everything. I can either control it here. You know get it to like never above negative six or i can simply adjust it here which is doing the same thing it's literally doing the same thing i like having both because i have more control and then as i'm producing <clears throat> and i'm limiting i'm always looking at this so i got my free span right here which is showing me the signal yeah and let me see where let me see where we're at here so but what what you want to be looking at here is this is not mixed by the way so my rms i mean look i'm not gonna get into that because everybody has uh different uh opinions but let me play this again uh the key is to have uh, a, a quite quite an like in general it your curve needs to kind of slope up here because you have the low end it usually is going to be higher than all of this stuff in the middle just a little bit maybe and then 
this this area this portion should never be higher than any of the peaks so you want to make sure that it's nice and uh, even like this as far as the RMS I mean this track in particular is a commercial record so I mean I keep it between once I mix it it'll probably be between probably like minus seven minus eight like I would never go like savagely like for I can do it, but it's gonna sound like shit. Like I can, I can squash it uh, to to a point where it's it, it's getting my uh, RMS levels to where it needs to be. Uh, by the way, uh, this is sounding all fucked up right now because uh, uh, my audio of me talking is also going through here so i don't want you guys to don't even focus on the graphs because none of this makes sense so that's it so basically to go through it uh the utility minus five then i have the eq then i have the l2 then i have the fab filter then i have the span and all of my internal compression i like to do it in the projects i don't like to uh mess around with too much compression uh, on the on the master if you know what you're doing and you're very precise i i honestly i i don't rec i don't recommend having a compressor on a master i'm gonna tell you right away uh i prefer using limiters two limiters to control my volumes and that's it and just all the all the compression needs to be like happening that inside simple. like that sounds like you prefer to like if there's like any mixing mistake for you prefer to take care of it in the mix then trying to like be yeah like, if I'm with your EQs exactly <clears throat> yeah I'm I'm controlling uh, because the thing is I see a lot of guys that sometimes are like mixing something and 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 like and I'm they're tweaking the master and it's like not working and then they're like adding this or doing some other stuff I this is why I have a lot of headroom on my master uh, with the negative five uh, before I, I squeeze the final mix and I hear my mistakes. I can I can go into the a spectrum analyzer and I see, for example, oh, that high end peak, for example, is too much. So I gotta tone that shit down. Uh, so I go. I know I know exactly where it is. Like I go in. Like some guys are like, oh, let me EQ this on the master. You gotta understand that. Like when you EQ things on the master, a lot of times, uh, like I boosted my highs because I feel like all the all the stuff are nicely mixed and it's it's evenly nice to bring up the highs but when people are trying to fix certain problem areas like you got to go to the source don't try to fix that shit on the master yeah